Hello beautiful people how are you guys doing hope everybody is doing amazingly well welcome back to another lesson of english with ashish and guys today in this lesson we are going to understand what abstract nouns are and we are going to do it in a unique manner in an interesting way so i'm excited and you guys are too let's do it All right everybody now let's understand what exactly an abstract noun is what exactly is an abstract noun it's a type of a noun now what is a noun a noun is just a name a name of something or somebody now what is an abstract noun an abstract noun is also a name since it's a noun it has to be a name it's a name of something that does not have a physical existence that does not have a physical form an abstract noun is a name of something a name given to something that does not have a physical form or existence that means you cannot see it you cannot smell it you cannot taste it you cannot hear it you cannot uh, eat it right you cannot perform all these functions so unlike a concrete noun an abstract noun cannot be touched seen smelt eaten heard right you cannot perform all these functions you can only feel its presence so words like love hate honesty politics hindi motivation and many more these are abstract nouns now can you see love can you hear it can you taste it can you touch it can you smell it you cannot do all these functions to these abstract nouns as they do not have a physical uh, form as they do not have a physical existence unlike these nouns look at these pictures on the screen a cake a boy a house these are concrete nouns uh, can you touch these objects yes you can can you smell them yes you can can you taste them if you want to yes you can can you see them yes you can can you touch them yes you can so you can do all these functions to these concrete nouns but you cannot do all these functions to an abstract noun because it does not have a physical form right now the important thing to understand is where do abstract nouns come from what are the categories they come from all right let's look at these categories Number 1 feelings and emotions names of all the feelings and emotions number 2 qualities number 3 concepts and ideas number 4 subjects number 5 activities and number 6 stages of a human life let's understand them one by one number 1 feelings and emotions so names of all the feelings and emotions are abstract noun as they do not have a physical existence as you cannot touch them see them feel them uh you can feel them you cannot touch them see them hear them taste them all right you can only feel them so words like uh, love hate anger admiration astonishment boredom amazement content in all the words you see on the screen these are abstract nouns so names of all the feelings and emotions abstract nouns examples everyone needs love everyone needs something and that something is going to be a noun now what is the noun here love everyone needs love can you see it can you touch it no you can only feel it you can replace this noun with another noun a concrete noun you can say everyone needs money everyone needs um food everyone needs a girlfriend a boyfriend everyone needs a bottle right you can replace it with a concrete noun anger is your biggest enemy anger what anger is your biggest enemy so uh, the abstract noun is working as the subject here anger is your biggest enemy can you see it can you hear it can you touch it you can't do it right you can only feel it there was nothing but disappointment there was nothing but disappointment an abstract noun so names of all the feelings and emotions are abstract these are abstract nouns all right moving to the next one which is qualities names of all the qualities that we have in the world are abstract nouns so words are uh, as honesty bravery beauty loyalty intelligence wisdom reliability alertness and all the words you see on the screen these are names of qualities hence abstract nouns examples honesty is the best policy as you may have heard already honesty is the best policy 
Something is the best policy. Honesty. You can't see it. You cannot um, taste it. You cannot hear it. You cannot eat it. You can only feel it. Honesty. You must have faith in God. You must have what? Faith. You can have something. You can have a water bottle. You can have a girlfriend. You can have a boyfriend. You can, ha you can have money. You can have power. Right? You can have something. A noun. That could be a concrete or an abstract. You must have faith in God. The least we expect from you is loyalty. The least we expect from you is loyalty. Is what? Loyalty. A name of a quality that we are looking for. Names of all the qualities are also abstract nouns. Okay. Moving to the next one which is concepts and ideas. So names of all the concepts or ideas that we have in this world are also abstract nouns. Now, some of these are motivation, feminism, politics, individualism, poverty, success, failure, justice, peace, health, transportation and all the words you see on the screen. These are just concepts or ideas that we have laid down in, in this society. All right. These do not have a physical form. Can you see motivation? Can you, can you smell it? Can you touch it? No, you can't. It does not have a physical form. It can only be felt. Examples. I need motivation to do something. I need motivation to do something. I need what motivation to do something. He is living in poverty. He is living in poverty. Again, a concept. It does not have a physical form. All right. The next is subjects. Very simple. Yes, a name of a subject is also an abstract noun. So all the names of subjects that we have are also abstract nouns. So words as Mathematics, English, Hindi, Geography, History, Economics, Botany and many more. These are also abstract nouns as you cannot see them. Their field of studies, all right? You cannot see them. You can only, um, I don't know whether you can feel them. They're just abstract, all right? Examples, I love speaking English. Can you see English? Can you touch it? Can you smell it? No. You can see an English book or journal, but you cannot see or touch or smell English. You cannot do that. History is an important subject to study. You know what I mean. History is an important subject to study. History, a name of a subject. Can you, can you see it? Can you eat it? Can you smell it? Can you touch it? Can you hear it? You can't do all these functions, right? It's just an abstract idea. Not an idea, a name of a subject, right? You cannot do that. So all the names of subjects are also abstract nouns. Next is activities. This is interesting. So names of all the activities. These are also nouns. These can function as nouns. And when these function as nouns, they are abstract nouns. So activities like uh, running, speaking, fighting, teaching, smoking, driving, and all the activities that we, that we can do. These when function as nouns are abstract nouns. Examples. I love teaching. I love what? Teaching. So teaching is working as a noun. The object of the verb love. I love what? Teaching. You cannot see it. You can, I mean, you can see me teaching, but you cannot see teaching. You cannot uh, touch it. You cannot touch teaching. You can touch me who's teaching, but you cannot touch teaching. You cannot hear it. You can hear my sound but not the sound of teaching. You get what I'm saying, right? Smoking can kill you. Smoking can kill you. Smoking, working as the subject of the sentence. You cannot see smoking. You cannot touch it. You can touch me, you can touch my cigarette, but you cannot touch smoking, all right? Most people are scared of fighting. Fighting here is a noun, a gerund, working as the object of the preposition of most people are scared of what you can be scared of something and what is something here fighting a noun a gerund all right so all the names of activities when they work as nouns gerunds these are abstract nouns always remember this and the last in the list is stages of a human life all the stages that we have these are also abstract nouns so stages like infancy Childhood, adolescence, adulthood, these are also abstract nouns as these do not have a physical form. You cannot see them. These are just names given to a particular stage 
of a human life, right? Examples. He used to cry for toys in his childhood. 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 It does not have a physical form. He used to cry for toys in his childhood. Adulthood is difficult to deal with. Adulthood. An abstract noun. You cannot see it. You cannot touch it, right? So all the names of stages of a human life are also abstract noun. Now you know what is an abstract noun and uh, where it comes from. Now some important points. You can form, you can get the abstract nouns from adjectives and verbs and sometimes nouns, common nouns. How can we do it? Let me show you how to do it. Adjectives to abstract nouns. You can change adjectives to abstract nouns. Brave adjective, bravery. Honest adjective, honesty. Patient, patience. Courageous, courage. Beautiful, beauty. Sweet, sweetness. Cute, cuteness. Kind, kindness. Long length, long length. Weak, weakness. Wise, wisdom. Wide, with. Hungry, hunger. Happy, happiness. Sad, sadness. Motivated, feeling. Adjective. Motivation. Difficult, difficulty. Easy, ease. Unique, uniqueness. Strong, strongness. Thirsty, thirst. Brutal, brutality, visionary, vision, adjectives to abstract nouns. Now, verbs to abstract nouns. Verbs, try, trial, laugh, laughter, love, love. Love is a verb and love is a noun as well, abstract noun. Hate can be a verb, can be a noun as well. Educate, education. Explain, explanation, clarify, clarification, justify, justification, accept, acceptance, admire, admiration, appreciate, appreciation, believe, belief, motivate, motivation, collect, collection, confess, confession, describe, description, invite, invitation, deceive, deception, destroy, destruction, impress, impression, opine, opine to give your opinion, opine, opinion. All right, verbs to abstract nouns. Now the last is common nouns to abstract nouns. Can we do it? Absolutely. With some common nouns, obviously, not with all of them. Some. Father, fatherhood. Brother, brotherhood. King, kingdom. Leader, leadership. Neighbor, neighborhood. And men, manhood. So that's all about abstract noun, guys. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you guys did, make sure you hit the like button. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification button as well so that every single time I publish a lesson, you get notified. And if you have any questions, any doubts, do let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you guys very soon. Till then, keep learning. Have fun. Lots of love. I am out. Namaskar.